In a study of the most successful athletes or professionals, one of the characteristics we'd find consistent is an ability to set and achieve goals and a real killer instinct. Welcome back to another episode of Design Today. I am your host, Dylan Winspear, and to kick off today's episode, I've got an announcement. My first course is ready for testing. Before the public release, I'm in need of some test candidates to give it a run through. The course will be geared towards helping UX designers write, design, and share their resumes to increase their chances of getting a phone call. The best part, it is free. So if you're needing to redo your resume or if you've been thinking about it for a while and you haven't gotten around to it, let's get it kickstarted together. If you're interested, then join the Design Today Slack community and shoot me a message. All right, hey friends. How's it going? If you've been following along for a little bit, you know from time to time, I jump out of talking UX skills and I talk human skills. This is gonna be one of those weeks. I found that over the last two weeks, I've been able to get myself going the extra mile again. And I've really struggled hard with this for the last maybe six months. What do I mean by the extra mile? I mean doing the extra work that's gonna help me have that competitive advantage. That might be doing the extra case study, adding another portfolio piece, reworking a resume, working on that freelance project, or for me, getting one of these online courses completed. But for months, I floundered. I wanted to do it. Every now and then I picked at it, but I never really dug into it. Then something changed over these last couple of weeks. I actually think it started when I watched The Last Dance. If by chance you haven't heard of it, it was a docu-series about Michael Jordan and his NBA career. Before you tune out and you go, nah, sports isn't for me, listen quick. I'm not a basketball fan at all. I couldn't name two players on my state's NBA team. But what captivated me in this docuseries was dissecting the character and personality of Michael Jordan. Yes, there's always been talk that he was a jerk or that he didn't care about the people around him. I'm not going to dive into that speculation in this rant. But what can't be denied is that his teams achieved success unlike any team in any sport. At the core of their success, it always started with a single goal to win championships. What is your single goal? What was my single goal? For months, I had ambiguous or abstract goals, but nothing that I could aim at. I believe this contributed to my floundering. If you're feeling that lack of motivation to get your project started, is it because you have unclear goals? Is it because you've not found your rhyme or reason to get started? Maybe that rhyme or reason isn't enough to help motivate you to get started. Only you can do this self-assessment. Once that single goal is determined, a relentless pursuit of that goal should follow. To continue on the sports analogy, it's been said that the great team leaders are always the first one in the building and the last one out. Hard work doesn't scare them off. Nothing great is achieved as a handout. Moving out of the athletic character dissection, look at Walt Disney. If you've not seen the movie Life Before Mickey, I'd strongly suggest it. In his biopic, you'd learn that he was shut down time and time again for his outlandish ideas. Cartoons are meant for newspapers, not for television. It's also been said that Walt was turned down 302 times before finally getting financing for his dream theme park. The relentless pursuit of one's dreams comes by keeping the end goal in mind and working through the struggle. Don't shy away from the hard work. Every come up story starts with hard work and rejection. After watching The Last Dance, I felt that killer instinct return and the desire to win championships flow through my veins again. I refocused on my single goal and I game planned on the steps to make it happen. And I'm working in the trenches to achieve those goals. There are days when that motivation wasn't as strong as the day prior, but I refocused on that end goal and it's enough to get me back in gear. So here's my challenge to you if you desire to have that killer instinct. Spend time thinking about what your single goal is. Go for a drive, take a walk, spend some time alone with your thoughts. What do you want? What are you trying to achieve? What do you want in your life or your career? What do you want it to look like next year or in five years? When that goal is determined, come up with a plan to achieve it. Don't wing it without a plan or nothing will happen. What is step one, step two, and step three? There may be a hundred steps, but what are your first few steps? What can you do today to get started? And then what can you do this week and this month? Don't shy away from the hard work. It will pay off in more ways than we can count. 